In 1982, a movie was released. It's called Evil Under the Sun. I'm not going to tell you the whole movie because I don't want to spoil it, but I am going to tell you this. The good part. In the movie, our hero, or our star, he finds himself at a cocktail party. In the cocktail party, there's wealthy, creative people. There's eccentric types. Um, there's all kinds of people at this um, cocktail party. And then he's presented with four cocktails. One of those cocktails is the one we're going to make tonight. But also, at that cocktail party, he has no idea that he's amongst a killer. That's all I'm going to give you. you got to watch the whole movie to, to see the rest of it if you don't know. All right, the cocktail that he picked or the cocktail that he, one of the cocktails that he had to choose from was called the White Lady. Now, the White Lady has a history that's almost as tragic as the movie. Um, a guy by the name of Harry McKelm, Mc, McElhone, McClone, uh, I'm not sure how to say his last name, or McClone, whatever, claims that in 1919, he created the original recipe for the White Lady. Then in 1999, he claims that he refined his own recipe into the recipe of the white lady that we know as it is now. Did I say 1929? It's 1929. Because in 1939, 10 years later, Harry Craddock claims that he originated the white lady cocktail and he wrote it all that he wrote that claim in his, uh, his cocktail guide then. Again, guys, it's like any other cocktail history. We don't really know because we weren't there. We can't jump in a time machine and cruise back uh, and check it out. But we do know that uh, claims are said that the White Lady cocktail was a favorite of the old comedic duo Laurel and Hardy. Is it true? I don't know. We don't really know. It's all cocktail history. It's all cocktail lore. But... Anyway, we know that it's a great cocktail. And right now, I know that I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. We're gonna ice our glass. Um, I don't have a coupe glass to put it in because I forgot to clean one when I came out, but I'm just gonna use this glass because well, it's about the same size as a martini glass or regular glass or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 1.75 ounces of the gin into my mixing glass. I'm gonna add another 0.75 ounces of the triple sec into my glass. Um, and then I'm gonna add a half ounce of the lime juice into my mixing glass. We're going to cap it, we're going to shake it, and then we're going to strain it. Um, you would put that in a mixing glass, garnish it with a lime, put it in a, not a mixing glass, a coupe glass or martini glass, garnish it with a lime, and that's it. Mix up a white lady. Check out the uh, Evil Under the Sun movie from 1982. I'm sure it's on Netflix. I'm sure it's on, you can find bits and pieces of it on YouTube, whatever. Whip one up. Fancy your friends with a fancy cocktail and a cocktail party. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you clicking on the likes. I appreciate you sharing with everybody. And I appreciate all the comments I get. I'll see you next time.